Today I fucked up by choking while on the toilet. This happened like 3 hours ago ago, you guys. I was in the kitchen standing at the fridge picking at the leftover Thanksgiving turkey. I had just shoved a big chunk of turkey in my mouth when I got struck by a fart. However, this wasn't just any old run of the mill fart. The second it reached my butthole I could tell if I let it out, I'd shit my pants. I took like 4 steps to the powder room right next to the kitchen and had sudden and unstoppable spicy diarrhea. Thanks spicy Korean chicken. I love you but my stomach is low key filing a restraining order on you. As I'm sitting there destroying the toilet, I'm still chewing the damn turkey. Turns out a big ass piece of cold turkey is real dry once you try to swallow it and I start choking. Panicked I try calling my fiance but I can hear him in the basement playing video games clearly with his headset on. This was my first mistake. I took way too long waiting for him to pick up. I haphazardly put my phone on the sink and heard it drop to the floor and start to wipe as fast as possible, getting one wipe in before I run out of fucking toilet paper. I'm running out of air and just get up, pants around my ankles, diarrhea ass dripping and sprint to the kitchen for a drink slipping on the rug in front of the sink and landing ass down on the floor and feel a little bit more diarrhea come out at impact. I army crawl through my own human shit to the case of water we had on the floor and was able to gulp the fucking turkey down. I just laid there defeated and crying calling for my fiance to bring me toilet paper so I can finish wiping. Turns out not only did I coat my floors, myself and my kitchen rug with shit, I cracked my phone and broke the toilet paper holder as I rushed to get paper off it. Not not sure if fiance still wants to marry me, heard him gagging as he swiffered the floors for me and I cried in the shower. Too long didn't read, I choked on turkey while having explosive diarrhea, coated myself and house in shit, and broke my toilet paper holder and cell phone. Your kitchen now has a faint scent of papuri. I guess you have to go, cold turkey with the spicy Korean food. Eh? No. Nobody. Okay. I don't often laugh out loud to stories I read, but damn, glad you're okay, and I guess now you'll always have a story for when people bring up how dry the turkey is. What a roller coaster start to finish. To keep a he is though. Yeah, get yourself a man who puts up with your shit, smiley face, crying face. Maybe you should borrow my username for this. Today I fucked up by posting a roast in r slash toast instead of r slash roast. I'm on reddit pretty frequently and today is not different. While scrolling on reddit I found this picture of a person holding a sign. At a quick half glance I thought this is definitely r slash roast post so I treated it as so and posted my nasty roast and carried on with my day. When I returned to reddit I received a message that I was permanently banned from r slash toast. Realizing my mistake I immediately met messaged the moderator for r slash and informed them of my mistake. Sometime go to r slash to give people positivity and good vibes. Hopefully I can be reinstated, but my roast cut deep and I'm unsure if I will be. Too long didn't read, I know holds barred roasted someone who I thought was in r slash roast but they were actually in r slash toast. Now I'm permanently banned until a mod possibly reinstates me. That was probably my post, and hey, shit happens, hugging face, though I am kinda curious now, can't see the whole thing in your history on mobile. I'm pretty used to transphobia and comments like that, gives me something to laugh about. It happens to the best of us, hopefully you get unbanned lol. I'll be waiting for your post on r slash roastman then ban you, jk. Whose idea was to make those subs rhyme anyway? Hey at least you won't make that mistake again. Mods don't unban him so he can't make the same mistake again. They probably won't unban me. Well I didn't know about r slash toast but I'm excited to check it out. I saw your comment through your history and you absolutely destroyed that woman. Feel bad for you cause it was an honest mistake. But man do I feel bad for her. Today I fucked up by stealing a kid's first job. So, today is snowing like crazy here in my hometown. I decided to shovel snow from my stairs every two hours to prevent the excess of snow to build up. At the same time, I shovel the snow on the walkway, 
to allow an easier time for pedestrian to walk, if only for my part of the sidewalk. Feeling generous, I decided to do the same for my downstairs neighbor. I shoveled their stairs, sidewalk and even made a small passage for them to get to their parked car on the street. I just wanted to help. Just as I finish, the kid downstairs runs out with his shovel and a big smile on his face. Until he sees what I had done. His face crumbled and he started to cry. I felt so confused. Was he alright? What's wrong? Turns out, his dad had promised him $15 a week if he shoveled the snow outside and now, he wouldn't get the money. I felt so awful for him. His parents were understanding and just said thank you but to let him do it next time. It was supposed to be his chore for the winter and help him earn money. I offered the kid to pay his $15 this week if he did buy stairs in the back. Calmed him down and now he's shoveling snow. Still feel bad for the kid. He looked so happy and excited when he ran out of the door. TL doctor tried to be nice and shovel the snow for my neighbor and ended up steal a kid's job. You did a nice thing. This is why people should be on salary, and not paid piecework. His father wanted to teach him the value of money. I find this to be a good thing. I just took the kid's first job by mistake. This goes to show how different people could be I'd probably would've just been like tell him you did it. You monster. Kidding. Shit happens. You did a kind deed and were being a good neighbor. Nothing wrong with that. You really stepped up and offered the kid a good lesson by letting him do the back stairs. Could have been a lesson to pay it forward. Hey look, someone already did our block. That was so kind of them. Let's go do the house of that person down the street who broke their leg last month. Yeah but are they gonna pay me? Tengu, 